it's not even September yet of 2018 and I'm not even getting married till October 2020 and I'm stressed. Hey everyone, what's up? So today, I'm just driving and there's this, been some things on my mind that I wanted to talk about. are the same but my number one is his number two and his number one is my number two so there might be one more place that we're looking at but like we're getting married that is just crazy like it's sunk in but it's not sinking in yet because we're not really into full planning mode because most of the stuff um most people i feel like plan a wedding in a year so most of the stuff you don't really need to do yet so we're not in full planning mode yet it's not that I don't want to get married I don't want the reception I don't want to spend all that money just to basically have a big party we're not those kind of people that oh we're having a wedding we're getting married that's an excuse to have a big party no we want our just close family and friends there so it would it's not gonna be that expensive but still it's gonna be more than I want to spend effort like, I was fine just going literally eloping or going to a courthouse and I'm still fine with that um, I don't really know exactly what my fiance wants I know he probably doesn't really want either one of those he probably wants a venue I think it's more stressful just because of my personality and I get stressed easily and I worry about things that I don't really need to be worried about and also I really had no idea how much stuff cost until I actually like look into it like I think we're trying to do a, we're saving money because I think we're going to do a lot of our stuff like DIYs we're going to do our invitations ourselves we're going to do our save the dates ourselves we're going to do a lot of stuff ourselves so that is gonna save us money but still I don't know and I have my mom knows somebody who's a DJ so she's gonna get that he's gonna give us like a discount so that's cheaper but I still didn't even factor in the photographer I didn't factor in floral flowers which I don't think we're doing flowers I don't really know but I didn't factor that in there's a lot of stuff. I, basically, what I have factored in is the package, the wedding package. That's it. And it's a lot. It's expensive. And we don't, we don't even have that many people. Even if we invited everybody that we have on our list from the very beginning, we only have like 85 people. And I think we're even cutting that down. But I don't know. A lot of the places in our area or maybe just the places that we like have minimums. So that also eliminated a lot of options because a lot of them have a guest minimum. Um, usually of 100, some of them are even more. The one place I really wanted to get married at has a minimum of like 125 guests and their packages start at like $120 a person. I'm like, absolutely not. We did find a place that has no minimum. The no minimum place is my number one and there I think there's no minimum because we're getting married on Sunday there's no minimum at the other place that we want to get married at we picked Sunday because we want to have it probably 
probably get married around like 3 30 or 4 maybe earlier I don't really know just so we can take pictures in the light but we can also take pictures at night because if we're getting married in October then it gets dark earlier so we want to have time to do both I just didn't think planning a wedding would be so stressful. I mean, I did, but I thought, oh, we have over two years, actually, to plan a wedding. We won't have any stress because we're just going to get done, everything done early. But at the same time, like, we don't really need to worry about our save the dates because we don't need to send those out. We don't need to worry about invitations. I feel weird going to look at dresses two years before the wedding. Um, we have a basically have our venue already picked out. It's just putting the deposit down um which we want to do that soon because we want to get the date that we want um which we don't it has really no meaning or anything but i don't know we've just been saying this date forever if it doesn't happen it's really not that big of a deal like my sister lost out a lot because on a lot of places because they make you put a down payment to save the date and she didn't want to do that some places they pencil you in and if somebody else picks that date you have 24 hours to say yeah you want that date um but then obviously you probably have to pay the, the down payment but my sister wanted to get married on my grandparents anniversary so a lot of places because she's doing a quicker like i don't know she wasn't planning it right away after she got engaged like we were she couldn't have that date so now she's i don't even think she's getting married in the same month i think she's getting married the month after but my cousin literally just my cousin just got married literally yesterday not even 24 hours ago um they got married in tennessee though so i mean i would love to get married in tennessee because that's like country and we want like a rustic country wedding but um, I don't know it's so stressful and I keep going back to like other places that we looked at that we kind of rolled out but now I'm like I kind of want to go back to those places just to make sure we don't want it out of all the places we looked at I think we looked at four places we're only definitely cutting out one because with all their minimums and stuff you're looking at fourteen thousand dollars and I'm like absolutely not spending fourteen thousand dollars on a wedding so I think we have one or two more places to look at and then we seriously need to buckle down and figure out where we're going and what we're doing and what we need what we don't need I can't I just can't wait until the day after the wedding when everything's said and done because you know me I will probably be that crazy bride that goes in there because you're supposed to like give them your decor all the places that we go to you if you want to bring in your decorations you just give them your decorations and you're supposed to trust them with your decorations no I'm gonna be over there and I'm gonna be setting it up how I want it set up because I'm not gonna come in the morning of my wedding and find out I don't like it so yeah I don't know and what is this hair doing my hair is just crazy today this is why I wear it up all the time um I wear it down like one day a week if I, I wear it up all the time because it's always in my face and I don't like it yeah I'm at my fiance's house I almost said boyfriend I can't say boyfriend or he gives me an attitude he'll literally say it like this is how he says it I'm not your boyfriend as if like I'm a crazy person and like we used to go out and I broke and we broke up or something like that he doesn't say it in a way that's like oh I'm not your boyfriend I'm your fiance I'm just waiting for him because we just came from my house and I don't know where he is he probably went like through the, t the town and I went the back way but usually he goes the back way so I don't know I have no idea but we're gonna go get some food and I can't wait I don't know I've never been to the restaurant that we're going to so I hope it's good anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you can relate please just comment down below let me know I'm not alone or if you have any any tips any wedding planning tips any tips about how to relieve stress any tips on what you should do then let me know because I really need some because I'm like stressed out and it's literally what is it it's not even September yet of 2018 and I'm not even getting married till October 2020 and I'm stressed 
so leave your tips down below. I would greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day. Bye.